In nuclear physics, the semi-empirical mass formula SEMF, sometimes also called Weizsäcker's formula, or the beta weizsäcker formula, or the beta weizsäcker mass formula to distinguish it from the beta weizsäcker process is used to approximate the mass and various other properties of an atomic nucleus from its number of protons and neutrons. As the name suggests, it is based partly on theory and partly on empirical measurements. The theory is based on the liquid drop model proposed by George Gamow, which can account for most of the terms in the formula and gives rough estimates for the values of the coefficients. It was first formulated in 1935 by German physicist Carl Friedrich von Weizsäcker, and although refinements have been made to the coefficients over the years, the structure of the formula remains the same today. The SEMF gives a good approximation for atomic masses and several other effects, but does not explain the appearance of magic numbers of protons and neutrons, and the extra binding energy and measure of stability that are associated with these numbers of nucleons. The liquid drop model and its analysis The liquid drop model in nuclear physics treats the nucleus as a drop of incompressible nuclear fluid of very high density. It was first proposed by George Gamow and then developed by Niels Bohr and John Archibald Wheeler. The nucleus is made of nucleons, protons and neutrons, which are held together by the nuclear force, a residual effect of the strong force. This is very similar to the structure of a spherical liquid drop made of microscopic molecules. This is a crude model that does not explain all the properties of the nucleus, but does explain the spherical shape of most nuclei. It also helps to predict the nuclear binding energy and to assess how much is available for consumption. Mathematical analysis of the theory delivers an equation which attempts to predict the binding energy of a nucleus in terms of the numbers of protons and neutrons it contains. This equation has five terms on its right-hand side. These correspond to the cohesive binding of all the nucleons by the nuclear force, a surface energy term, the electrostatic coulomb mutual repulsion of the protons, an asymmetry term derivable from the protons and neutrons occupying independent quantum momentum states and a pairing term partly derivable from the protons and neutrons occupying independent quantum spin states. If we consider the sum of the following five types of energies, then the picture of a nucleus as a drop of incompressible liquid roughly accounts for the observed variation of binding energy of the nucleus. Volume energy. When an assembly of nucleons of the same size is packed together into the smallest volume, each interior nucleon has a certain number of other nucleons in contact with it. So, this nuclear energy is proportional to the volume. Surface energy. A nucleon at the surface of a nucleus interacts with fewer other nucleons than one in the interior of the nucleus and hence its binding energy is less. This surface energy term takes that into account and is therefore negative and is proportional to the surface area. Coulomb energy. The electric repulsion between each pair of protons in a nucleus contributes toward decreasing its binding energy. Asymmetry energy also called Pauli energy, an energy associated with the Pauli exclusion principle. Were it not for the Coulomb energy, the most stable form of nuclear matter would have the same number of neutrons as protons, since unequal numbers of neutrons and protons imply filling higher energy levels for one type of particle, while leaving lower energy levels vacant for the other type. Pairing energy an energy which is a correction term that arises from the tendency of proton pairs and neutron pairs to occur. An even number of particles is more stable than an odd number. The formula In the following formula, let A be the total number of nucleons, Z the number of protons, and N the number of neutrons, so that A equals Z plus N. The mass of an atomic nucleus is given by m equals z m p plus n m n minus e b c two. Display style m equals z m underscore p plus n m underscore n frac e underscore b c caret two, where m p display style m underscore p and m n display style m underscore n 
are the rest mass of a proton and a neutron, respectively, and E B E underscore B is the binding energy of the nucleus. The semi-empirical mass formula states that the binding energy will take the following form E B equals A V A minus A S A two three minus A C Z Z minus one O one three minus A A A minus two Z two O minus Delta A Z Display style E underscore B equals a underscore V A A underscore S A carrot two thirds a underscore C F R A C Z Z one a carrot one third a underscore a F R A C A two Z carrot two a delta A Z Each of the terms in this formula has a theoretical basis, as will be explained below. The coefficients A V Display style underscore V A S display style underscore S A C display style underscore C A A display style underscore A and a coefficient that appears in the formula for delta A Z display style delta A Z are determined empirically. Topic Terms Topic Volume Term The term A V A Displacedyla underscore V A is known as the volume term. The volume of the nucleus is proportional to A, so this term is proportional to the volume, hence the name. The basis for this term is the strong nuclear force. The strong force affects both protons and neutrons, and as expected, this term is independent of Z because the number of pairs that can be taken from A particles is A A minus 1 2 display style frac A1 2 One might expect a term proportional to A 2 Display style a caret two. However, the strong force has a very limited range, and a given nucleon may only interact strongly with its nearest neighbors and next nearest neighbors. Therefore, the number of pairs of particles that actually interact is roughly proportional to a, giving the volume term its form. The coefficient a v display style a underscore v is smaller than the binding energy of the nucleons to their neighbors. E B display style E underscore B, which is of order of 40 MeV. This is because the larger the number of nucleons in the nucleus, the larger their kinetic energy is, due to the Pauli exclusion principle. If one treats the nucleus as a Fermi ball of a display style a nucleons with equal numbers of protons and neutrons, then the total kinetic energy is three. 5 epsilon f display style 3 over 5 var epsilon underscore f with epsilon f display style var epsilon underscore f the fermi energy which is estimated as 28 mev thus the expected value of a v display style underscore v in this model is e b minus 3 5 epsilon f 17 m e v 
Display style e underscore b three over five bar epsilon underscore f sim seventeen mathrm mev. Not far from the measured value. Topic: Surface term. The term a s a two three. Display style a underscore s a caret two thirds is known as the surface term. This term, also based on the strong force, is a correction to the volume term. The volume term suggests that each nucleon interacts with a constant number of nucleons, independent of A. While this is very nearly true for nucleons deep within the nucleus, those nucleons on the surface of the nucleus have fewer nearest neighbors, justifying this correction. This can also be thought of as a surface tension term, and indeed a similar mechanism creates surface tension in liquids. If the volume of the nucleus is proportional to A, then the radius should be proportional to O 1 3 A 1 3rd and the surface area to O 2 3 A 2 thirds. This explains why the surface term is proportional to O 2 3 Displaystyle a caret two thirds. It can also be deduced that a s displaystyle a underscore s should have a similar order of magnitude as a v displaystyle a underscore v. Topic: Coulomb term. The term. A C Z Z minus one O one three Display style underscore C F R A C Z Z one a carrot one third or A C Z two O one three Display style underscore c frac z caret two a caret one third is known as the Coulomb or electrostatic term. The basis for this term is the electrostatic repulsion between protons. To a very rough approximation, the nucleus can be considered a sphere of uniform charge density. The potential energy of such a charge distribution can be shown to be E equals three five. 1 4 pi epsilon 0 q 2 r display style e equals frac 3 5 left frac 1 4 pi var epsilon underscore 0 right frac q caret 2 r where q is the total charge and r is the radius of the sphere identifying q with z E display style z, and noting as above that the radius is proportional to o one three display style a caret one third. We get close to the form of the Coulomb term. However, because electrostatic repulsion will only exist for more than one proton, z two display style z caret two becomes z z minus 1 display style z z1 the value of a c display style underscore c can be approximately calculated using the equation above empirical nuclear radius r approximately equals r 0 o 1 3 Display style r approximately r underscore zero a caret frac one three quantum charge integers q equals z e display style q equals z z two approximately equals z z minus one 
Display style z caret two approximately z z one. Solving by substitution, e equals three five one four pi epsilon zero q two r equals three five one four pi epsilon zero z e two r zero o one three equals three e two z two twenty pi epsilon zero r zero o one three approximately equals three E two Z Z minus one twenty Pi Epsilon zero R zero O one three equals A C Z Z minus one one three Display style E equals FRAC three five left FRAC one four Pi var epsilon underscore zero right FRAC Q carrot two R equals FRAC three five left FRAC one four Pi var epsilon underscore zero right FRAC Z carrot two R underscore zero a carrot FRAC one three equals FRAC three E carrot two Z carrot two twenty Pi var epsilon underscore zero R underscore zero Zero a carrot frac one three approximately frac three e carrot two z z one twenty pi var epsilon underscore zero r underscore zero a carrot frac one three equals a underscore c frac z z one a carrot one third potential energy of charge distribution e equals three e two Z Z minus one twenty Pi Epsilon zero R zero O one three Display style E equals FRAC three E carrot two Z Z one twenty Pi var epsilon underscore zero R underscore zero a carrot FRAC one three Electrostatic Coulomb constant A C equals three E two twenty Pi Epsilon zero R zero Display style underscore C equals FRAC three E carrot two twenty Pi var epsilon underscore zero R underscore zero The value of a C display style underscore C using the fine structure constant A C equals three five C alpha R zero equals three five R P R zero Alpha M P C two Display style underscore C equals FRAC three five left FRAC HBAR C alpha R underscore zero right equals FRAC three five left FRAC R underscore P R underscore zero right alpha M underscore P C carrot two where alpha Display style alpha is the fine structure constant and r zero o one three display style r underscore zero a caret one third is the radius of a nucleus, giving 
R zero display style R underscore zero to be approximately one point two five femtometers. R P display style R underscore P is the proton Compton radius and M P display style M underscore P the proton mass. This gives a C display style underscore C an approximate theoretical value of 0 0.691 MeV, not far from the measured value. A C equals 0 0.691 MeV display style underscore C equals 0 691 text MeV. Topic. Asymmetry term The term A A A minus 2 Z 2 A Display style underscore a FRAC A two Z carrot two A or four A A A two Minus z two a display style four a underscore a frac a two z caret two a is known as the asymmetry term. Note that as a equals n plus z display style a equals n plus z. The parenthesized expression can be rewritten as n minus z display style nz the form a minus 2 z display style a2z is used to keep the dependence on a explicit as it will be important for a number of uses of the formula the theoretical justification for this term is more complex the Pauli exclusion principle states that no two identical fermions can occupy exactly the same quantum state in an atom. At a given energy level, there are only finitely many quantum states available for particles. What this means in the nucleus is that as more particles are added, these particles must occupy higher energy levels, increasing the total energy of the nucleus and decreasing the binding energy. Note that this effect is not based on any of the fundamental forces gravitational, electromagnetic, etc. Only the Pauli exclusion principle. Protons and neutrons, being distinct types of particles, occupy different quantum states. One can think of two different pools of states, one for protons and one for neutrons. Now, for example, if there are significantly more neutrons than protons in a nucleus, some of the neutrons will be higher in energy than the available states in the proton pool. If we could move some particles from the neutron pool to the proton pool, in other words change some neutrons into protons, we would significantly decrease the energy. The imbalance between the number of protons and neutrons causes the energy to be higher than it needs to be, for a given number of nucleons. This is the basis for the asymmetry term. The actual form of the asymmetry term can again be derived by modeling the nucleus as a Fermi ball of protons and neutrons. Its total kinetic energy is E K equals 3 5 N P epsilon F P plus N N epsilon F N display style e underscore k equals three over five n underscore p var epsilon underscore f underscore p plus n underscore n var epsilon underscore f underscore n, where n p display style n underscore p n n display style n underscore n are the numbers of protons and neutrons and epsilon F P display style var epsilon underscore F underscore P epsilon F n display style var epsilon underscore F underscore n are their Fermi energies. 
since the latter are proportional to n p 2 3 display style n underscore p caret 2 thirds and n n 2 3 display style n underscore n caret 2 thirds respectively one gets e k equals c n p 5 3 plus n n 5 3 Display style e underscore k equals c n underscore p caret five thirds plus n underscore n caret five thirds for some constant c. The leading expansion in the difference n n minus n p display style n underscore n n underscore p is then e k equals C two two three N P plus N N five three plus five nine N N minus N P two N P plus N N one three plus O N N minus N P two Display style e underscore k equals c over two carat two thirds left and underscore p plus n underscore n carat five thirds plus five over nine and underscore n n underscore p carat two over and underscore p plus n underscore n carat one third right plus o n underscore n n underscore p carat two. At the zeroth order expansion, the kinetic energy is just the Fermi energy. Epsilon f Epsilon F P equals Epsilon F N displaystyle var epsilon underscore F equiv var epsilon underscore F underscore P equals var epsilon underscore F underscore N multiplied by three five N P plus N N Two, three. Display style three over five and underscore p plus and underscore n carrot two thirds. Thus we get e k equals three five epsilon f n p plus n n plus one. Three Epsilon F N N minus N P two N P plus N N plus O N N minus N P four equals Three five Epsilon F A plus one three Epsilon F A minus two Z two A plus O A minus two Z four 
Display style e underscore k equals three over five var epsilon underscore f and underscore p plus n underscore n plus one over three var epsilon underscore f and underscore n and underscore p carrot two over n underscore p plus n underscore n plus o and underscore n and underscore p carrot four equals three over five var epsilon underscore f a plus one over three var epsilon underscore f a two z carrot two over a plus o a two z carrot four. The first term contributes to the volume term in the semi-empirical mass formula, and the second term is minus the asymmetry term. Remember, the kinetic energy contributes to the total binding energy with a negative sign. Epsilon f display style var epsilon underscore f is thirty eight MeV. So calculating a a display style underscore a from the equation above, we get only half the measured value. The discrepancy is explained by our model not being accurate. Nucleons in fact interact with each other, and are not spread evenly across the nucleus. For example, in the shell model, a proton and a neutron with overlapping wave functions will have a greater strong interaction between them and stronger binding energy. This makes it energetically favorable i.e. having lower energy for protons and neutrons to have the same quantum numbers other than isospin, and thus increase the energy cost of asymmetry between them. One can also understand the asymmetry term intuitively, as follows. It should be dependent on the absolute difference n minus z and the form a minus 2 z 2 display style a 2 z caret 2 is simple and differentiable which is important for certain applications of the formula in addition small differences between z and n do not have a high energy cost the a in the denominator reflects the fact that a given difference n minus z display style n z is less significant for larger values of a. Topic pairing term the term delta a z display style delta a z is known as the pairing term possibly also known as the pairwise interaction. This term captures the effect of spin coupling. It is given by delta a z equals plus delta zero z n even a even zero a odd minus delta zero z n odd a even display style delta a z equals begin cases plus delta underscore zero and z n text even a text even zero and a text odd delta underscore zero and z n text odd a text even end cases where delta zero display style delta underscore zero is found empirically to have a value of about 1000 keV, slowly decreasing with mass number A. The dependence on mass number is commonly parametrized as delta 0 equals A P A K P Display style delta underscore 0 equals a underscore P A carrot K underscore P the value of the exponent kp is determined from experimental binding energy data. In the past its value was often assumed to be minus three quarters, but modern experimental data indicate that a value of minus one half is nearer the mark. Delta zero equals a p a minus one two Display style delta underscore zero equals a underscore p a caret minus one half, or delta zero equals a p a minus three four. Display style delta underscore zero equals a underscore p prime a caret minus three quarters. Due to the Pauli exclusion principle the nucleus would have a lower energy if the number of protons with spin up were equal to the number of protons with spin down. This is also true for neutrons. Only if both z and n are even can both protons and neutrons have equal numbers of spin up and spin down particles. This is a similar effect to the asymmetry term. The factor a k p Display style a caret k underscore p is not easily explained theoretically. 
The Fermi ball calculation we have used above, based on the liquid drop model but neglecting interactions, will give an a minus one display style a caret minus one dependence, as in the asymmetry term. This means that the actual effect for large nuclei will be larger than expected by that model. This should be explained by the interactions between nucleons, for example, in the shell model, two protons with the same quantum numbers other than spin will have completely overlapping wave functions and will thus have greater strong interaction between them and stronger binding energy. This makes it energetically favorable i.e. having lower energy for protons to form pairs of opposite spin. The same is true for neutrons. Topic. Calculating the coefficients The coefficients are calculated by fitting to experimentally measured masses of nuclei. Their values can vary depending on how they are fitted to the data. Several examples are as shown below, with units of megaelectronvolts. The semi-empirical mass formula provides a good fit to heavier nuclei, and a poor fit to very light nuclei, especially for He. This is because the formula does not consider the internal shell structure of the nucleus. For light nuclei, it is usually better to use a model that takes this structure into account. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Examples for consequences of the formula. By maximizing E flat a z with respect to z, we find the best neutrons to protons ratio n z for a given atomic weight a. We get n z approximately equals one plus a c two a a a two three. Display style n z approximately one plus frac a underscore c two a underscore a a caret two thirds. This is roughly one for light nuclei, but for heavy nuclei the ratio grows in good agreement with nature. By substituting the above value of z back into e flat one obtains the binding energy as a function of the atomic weight e flat a. Maximizing E flat a, a with respect to A gives the nucleus which is most strongly bound, i.e. most stable. The value we get is A. Topic 63 copper, close to the measured values of A. 62 nickel and A equals 58 iron. Equals equals notes.